what is going on guys? You are joining with the second tutorial in our course series. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool 3D shiny text animation inside of Filmora 13. This animation is very easy to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys here I use 1920 by 1080 resolution with 60 fps, so you can use any resolution you want here. Okay first we need to add a background, so go to the stock media, and pick any light color you like. So I select this white color, and add it to the timeline. Okay then we need to add text, so go to the text, and add the default title to the timeline. Then go to the text settings, and I change the text color to black. After that you can type whatever you want here. So here I type motion. And I use Gotham Ultra font style for this. Then I go to the transform, and increase the scale a little bit like this. Okay our first text layer is complete, and this one we going to use to create the 3D look. And we need another one, so I simply take a copy of this, and paste it right here. Okay then you can customize this whatever you like, so I change the color to this yellow color. After that I like to add stroke line to this text, so go to the advanced settings, and enable the outline, then add any color you want, and I change the outline thickness to 4, then press apply. Okay guys here we have our both text layers, so then let's add an animation to our text layer. So first I select this layer, and go to the animation. Then select in, and add this wavy appearance and animation to this. Okay then change the duration to something like 1.5 seconds. After that I add the same animation to our second text layer. Okay now we have nice bouncy animation like this. So now we need to add the 3D look to this text. So let's see how to create that. So first I drag this top text layer to the fourth layer. Then we need to add an adjustment layer to add our effect, so I add it like this. Okay then let's add our effect, so go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select blur, then select this BCC radial blur, and add it to this adjustment layer. Okay then go to the effect settings, and first change the blur type to smear, so you can see it gives this kind of look, so then we need to put this blur effect behind this text. So you can change this blur amount to minus value. So I change it to something like minus 30. After that go to the mix with the original setting. And you can adjust the sharp look using this setting. So I bring it to minus 300. So then we need to adjust the direction of this 3D look. So go to the center setting. And you can adjust these values you like. So here I change X to 0.5. And Y to 0.2. Like this. So guys here we created our 3D text animation, so here's what it looks like. So guys if you need to change the color of this 3D look, simply select your second text layer. And you can change the text color to whatever you like. So that's how we can change the color of this 3D look. So next I like to add another 3D text layer to this animation. So first select all these layers, and take a copy by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then we need to convert these to a compound clip, so press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. So I named it Text 1, and hit OK. OK now we have our first 3D text, so then select this second layer, and paste here our copied layers. OK after that simply customize your both text layers like this. Ok then I select this adjustment layer, and go to the blur settings to adjust this 3D look direction. So I change this Y value to something like 0.7. Like this. Then select all these layers, and change them to a compound clip. So I named it text 2, and hit OK. So now we have second 3D text layer like this. So now we need to remove this white background for our second text layer. So you can simply double click this to go inside the compound clip. Then you can hide your background layer like this. 
so I do the same thing for my other text layer. Okay, then go to the main timeline. And now you can see we have our both text layers like this. So then you can adjust the position of these texts. So I adjust them like this. Okay, after that we need to add a background to this. So first I drag these layers to the upper layer. Then go to the stock media. And you can add any color to your background. So I use this yellow color as my background. Okay, now it looks like this. But you can see both text animations happen same time. So I drag this text layer a little bit forward like this. So guys, now our 3D text animation looks like this. Okay, that looks perfect. So now we need to add the light sweep animation to this. So let's see how to create that. So first we need to add this white color layer. So I add it to the timeline like this. Okay, then select this white layer and go to the mask. Then I apply these parallel lines mask to this. Okay, then I change the rotation to something like minus 16 and line width to 12. After that, go to the compositing and change the blend mode to overlay. So now it looks like this. Then we need to animate our light sweep layer. So go to the position and select the X position and drag this layer to here. Then go to the start of this layer and create the keyframe of position. Then go a few seconds forward and bring this to here like this. Then open the keyframe panel and select this last keyframe. Then right click and add the curve preset to this. So now it has this kind of curve. So let's see how it looks. So now it looks perfect, but we need to hide this unwanted area on this light sweep effect. So we can hide that area by creating a text mask and putting it on top of our animation. So let's see how to create that text mask. So first add the same color you added for your background. Then take a copy of these layers. And paste it right here. Okay, then go to the end of the text animation, something right here. Then go inside this compound clip and hide this text in the adjustment layer. So then do the same thing for your second text layer. Okay, after that our text layers look like this. Then remove this background layer and take a snapshot like this. After that delete these layers. We don't need these again and make sure to unhide these layers. After that select the color layer you added and go to the mask, then click this import button to import our custom mask. So then go to the Filmora snapshot folder and select the snapshot we took before. So then you can add a name for your mask, so I keep it default. Okay guys here we have our text mask, so I select this mask. Then we need to invert this mask. So you can simply click this invert mask button. Okay guys now you can see it only visible inside of the text, but we lost our 3D look in our animation. So don't worry you can fix that, by simply changing the blend mode to darken. So guys our 3D shiny text animation is done, so here's the result. So guys that's how we can make awesome 3D shiny text animation inside of Filmora 13. So you can see it's very simple to create. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist, or you can visit the Filmora Creator Hub to access more awesome tutorials. So you can follow the links below to access the Filmora Creator Hub. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment about this video. And what tutorial you like next. So let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.